So I believe I might have found the greatest side hustle of all time. Actually, that's a stretch. In fact, it's probably a complete lie. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you what hauling cardboard is like. It's gonna look something like this. And you can help me decide, is it a great side hustle or not? We'll see, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome to the video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Travis. I make videos to help inspire people, start a business or make an investment. Or if you already have a business, I wanna help you grow and flourish as a business owner. The last video I released got like almost 400 views. I'm trying to grow my channel, so thank you to everybody that watched that video. And if you thought you knew somebody that might benefit from that video, maybe share it with them. So did you know that cardboard has value? And not like a little bit of value, like a lot of value. I see a lot of videos about pallet flipping and I have to wonder if cardboard hauling isn't a better side hustle so I thought I would show you what I'm doing with cardboard and you can leave a comment and let me know if you think that hauling cardboard would be a great side hustle before I started my recycling program I had a customer that called me one day and wanted to know if I would haul their cardboard for them I said that currently I didn't haul cardboard but I wanted to know what they were seeing from the current provider and maybe I could figure something out they told me they had been using another company to come haul their cardboard off and that the company had just become very unreliable and didn't show up when they were supposed to and sometimes wouldn't show up for weeks at a time. After calling a few recycling centers in the area, I actually figured out that cardboard has quite a bit of value. In fact, um, you could sell loose cardboard for as much as like maybe $125 a ton and bailed cardboard for $170 a ton. This is actually what got me kind of started on the recycling program to begin with. I thought, you know, cardboard has that much value, it could possibly carry the whole program for me. Instead of trying to have my customers pay for all the cost of my program, I could sell these products to offset that cost. So what I'm doing now is when my customer gets enough cardboard for a load, they call me, I just go pick it up and then I take it straight to the recycling center. I can't film too much inside the facility, but I'm gonna try to get what I can to just show you kind of the highlights of what I'm doing. So when they call, I just go in with an 18 foot trailer, they load me up. The whole pickup process only takes about 30 minutes. Each one of these bells weighs about a thousand pounds. So this is gonna be about three tons on the trailer. I have them leave the pallets on when they stack them because in the beginning when I started doing this, we would get rid of the pallets, but when they were trying to get them on the trailer, a lot of times they would break the straps that are holding the cardboard together. If you break the strap, it's no longer bailed cardboard, it's considered loose cardboard. So you get a big deduction in price. So I always keep the pallets on there because then they never really touch the bale, they just stack it on. Okay, so this is what the bales look like. There's not a lot to see, it's just, compressed cardboard, just smashed down in a big block. So I'm gonna take this into the recycling center now. Again, this is a private business, so I'm not just gonna go filming inside their business. I'm gonna get a little bit just to kind of show what it looks like as far as the process, and then I'll see you on the other side. So when I go in to unload, it's just like hauling scrap metal. You come in loaded, you go across the scale, they get a loaded weight, you go back, you unload, you pull back around, get on the scale again, they get an empty weight, then you pull around and you get a ticket. The ticket will tell you what your gross weight was, what your uh, empty weight was, and what your net pounds that you delivered were. In this case, it's a little over 6,000 pounds. So by looking at the ticket, I can tell that today, the price of bailed cardboard is $180. That probably puts loose cardboard at probably like 130 to $145. This whole haul took me like maybe two hours total to go pick up and take it to the recycling center and unload. And as you can see, before expenses, I made $560. So after diesel and everything, uh, I probably made somewhere around 500 bucks. It's harder for me to send a guy to do things like this because if I'm paying them and I have insurance and like commercial insurance and all the things, like all that adds up. So it makes it really hard for me to say, go around and gather cardboard um, every day. But when this particular customer calls, 
I just run over and get it because it's kind of easy for me and I enjoy it. The question is, as a side hustle though, could you line up a bunch of different businesses and warehouses and say, hey, every Saturday I'll come by and pick up all your cardboard. Just put it to the side. I'll be by like clockwork to get it. If you could say, gather up three tons every Saturday and take it to the recycling center and it was loose, that's still like, you know, probably $450 worth of cardboard right there for maybe like a day's worth of work. After you take out your diesel and some of your expenses, like you're gonna do pretty good. I don't even know, could this turn into a full-time business? Cardboard is a commodity, so the price fluctuates and right now it's pretty good. I don't know that it would last forever, but I mean, if you can make $300 a day after your expenses or something like that, it could last for quite a while while you build something else, right? So the question is, and pre please drop this in the comments, what do you think? Could this make a good side hustle? Have you done this before? What are cardboard prices in your area? If you enjoy these videos, share them with somebody, like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn your bell notifications on so you know when I make a video, and I'll see you in the next one.